guys. Hey guys. So I'm going to film this anyway, even though there's a bunch of people talking and yelling. And anyway, but anyway, so I am an incredibly awkward person if you didn't already know that about me, which, but yeah, I'm a very, very awkward person. And I have done many, many awkward things in my lifetime. As an example, one of the things I did only a few days ago was I was one of the people selling tickets at the front of our at the front of the NPR for our performance in musical theater on Tuesday for our show Willy Wonka. And I said at least five times when I was giving people their tickets, enjoy our th enjoy our show, please. I literally said that like five times. But yeah, so that's, I'm very awkward. But I'm also, I can also be charming and charismatic when I need to be, or when I want to be. You know, it's like people come near me and I need, to, and I feel like I need to be like that and I'll turn into like performer Zoe, presenter Zoe, and I'll just be like, hi, do you need any help with that? Do you want me to do anything? I'm, I'm all for that. And I'll be really like, and I'll just be like really charismatic and charming, like suave. But that's not how I am most of the time. I'm incredibly awkward. So, <laughs> yeah, kind of not good. But I mean, I'm used to it. I've been awkward my entire life. And then I say awkward things and I regret it for not just, not just a couple minutes, not just a couple hours, not just days. I look back on my life and I think, why did I say that? And I, and I think that like stuff that happened like five years ago and just, why am I like this? I don't know, but I can also be kind of abrasive, let's say. And when I, and if I've like had a really exhausting day and like one person's just being so annoying and they're continuously being annoying, then if I'm like really angry, I won't be, I won't be holding myself back. I'll go full sarcastic. I'll just be like, oh really? Oh yeah, I never would have guessed your highness. And I will be, I can't. My kind of humor is sardonic humor and sarcasm. That's that's how I deal with things. That's how I deal with my pain. I just make jokes about myself. Yeah, that's how I that's just how I deal with everything basically. Like something that was funny yesterday was one of the girls in PE said, Okay, come over here if you're sassy like me and I said, I'm not sassy, but I'm sarcastic as So <laughs> Yeah, which I am. I mean, I don't really think of myself as sassy, but I am very sarcastic, and I'm and I can be very abrasive and rude. But that's part of my charm. I mean, and that kind of makes me who I am. I don't really like that when I'm like comfortable around people, or when I just have like a really annoying, exhausting day that I'm like, no, don't want to have to deal with any more of that. It's like, get out of the way. Don't you don't need your negative vibes. But then I'll just be like. But I won't say it like that. I'll say it in a very sarcastic manner. Like, no, I never would have guessed you would obviously need to be there, so. <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of how I operate. Oops. But yeah, so, I mean, I'm kind of, I mean, something that I think people really need to work on is being unapologetically themselves. I mean, if it's some, there's like this, wise thing that someone said that if you can't that if it's something that a person can't change about themselves in 10 minutes then you shouldn't tell them like if their shirt is unbuttoned or at like words like if a button's come unbuttoned you should tell them if they have spinach in their teeth you should tell them but if like oh if you're saying that like oh i don't like your face why would you say that like that's such a horrible thing to say and they can't do anything about it so just yeah but it's kind of, it's, it just makes more sense to me that you just be quiet, you know? It's kind of like if you don't have anything nice to say, then just shut up, basically, essentially. But yeah, that's kind of, hi, people apologize for everything. The f I say sorry so many times in a conversation and then I kind of think back on it, why did I say sorry that much? Why am I apologizing 
for being myself, for how I act, for how I talk, for how I think. Why am I apologizing for that? There's nothing wrong with that. It's who I am. If they don't like it, then I, they don't have to hand, and they don't have to hang around with me. But I shouldn't have to not be who I am because it's like it's different it's like for racist people it's like if they say something i will fight them if they if people and it's saying with like homophobic people if they say something racist or homophobic or anything like that i will fight them and i will use my weapons of wit and sarcasm and i will make them cry and i have done that before it or I just glare at them for like 20 minutes like i just but i just like spend but I just like glare daggers at them and I stare at them for like 30 minutes without doing anything else. And that's kind of how I fight my battles. And if people are being especially confrontational, then I will, I'm not much one to, do, to use violence, but I can if I need to. But I usually use my wit and my humor and my sarcasm because I know exactly where to hit, where it hurts. So. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.